in this session we will design the walls after we have calculated the the loads so we need to design this wall and we'll use this load for this wall and we need to design this wall and we'll use this load for this wall these are the exterior walls and w th wall 3 we'll use this load for wall 3 and for wall 4 we'll use this load now wall 5 is same as wall 1 because w8 and w2 are same now for wall 6 i'll use this load w32 so let's do that we have a template actually so if we go to the template and this template uh, this column will be for the load for the first the first load we had was 17.337 let's just go back so we need to put this load we need to put this load for wall 1 and this load for wall 2 so I'll go back to the so the first load is 17 point three three seven seventeen point three three seven you see it's kilonewton per meter length that was the load and the second my load was thirty four point one five three now let's go back to the tables from which we use the design so for seventeen point three three seven and this is a uh, the height of the wall here is 3.75 meters and this is an exterior wall so let's go to the tables we have a table and this table is actually coming from this book which is engineering guide for guide for cost for wood frame construction um, I have 2004 but the latest latest one is 2009 or 14 uh, there's not a big change or difference so now I'm looking for an exterior wall see here if you look at here see this is interior wall I don't want it I want exterior my wall is exterior wall first of all here's exterior wall so you see there's exterior wall here but you see the heights of the wall here is 2.4 meters to 3.4 and the height of the wall that I have is 3.75 so it is more than this one so I need to move move to another table see this table is exterior studs and the height is from 3.7 meters to 5.5 my first wall is 3.75 so this falls within the range good so I'll use this table now if you look at here this is this the spacing between studs and these are the loads so whatever I calculated there so my, my the first wall I have here the first wall is is 17.337 okay so for that one if you look at the load here if I intend to use just let, let me just assume I would like to use 400 millimeter spacing between studs you can use 300 if you or if you want you can use 600 it's up to you but in my case I'm just suggesting to use 400 spacing so and the load I have is 17.33 there's no 17 here if you look at here so I need to jump to the next which is 20 kilonewton per meter length so meaning if you go back to the so here uh, this should be the maximum factored load is 20 okay now I need to choose now the material type and the stud for the spacing so let's go back so I need 420 if you continue 20 and if you look at the height my height is 3.7 so it is more than 3.3.6 so it will intersect here so then the intersection here is 140 and all the studs are 38 
So we get a uh, stud 38 by 140 and a spacing of 400. That would be the, and the space here, or the material is DFL. You can use other materials if you want to. These are other materials, but in my case, I'm using DFL. Number one, two grade. So it will be uh, DFL. You can write the entire details. I'm gonna write the details for now. I think it is number one, or what does it say? So it says DFL number one or two grade. Number one or two grade or grade. And the start we said is 38 millimeter by 140 millimeter. And of course, this is 3.75 in exterior. If I want to do the, uh, the next for wall two, let me just go back to the same table. So still, if I would like to use 400, and this is against exterior and between 3.7 and 5.5, .5, and the height of the wall is 4.75. 4.75 so this will be a good match for it and again if I still would like to use DFL number one or two grade so for for 34 the load was 34 there's no 34 here so you jump to 40 so it will be 40 40 then I have 49 this is the intersection so it will be uh, the load is 40 and the size is the size is so is I have so the size is 38 again more by 140 and will give us so this will be 40 maximum I get is DFL number one or two grade and it is 38 millimeter by 184 and the height is 4.75 meters and it is an exterior wall okay let's let's go and take a look at the the interior one now we would like to do W would like to do wall three wall three and wall four so for wall three is an interior wall and the height is 3.75 and the load is 2.1 let's go and see how we'll do that so wall three the load here is is equal to 2.1 so let's go to the table and of course the, the height here is uh, 3.75 and it is interior let's go back to the table so this is not going to work because this is exterior wall so we need to go back to the interior wall and this is exterior so this is interior wall if you look at here this is interior wall and um, between 3.7 meters to 5.5 because the first wall height is 3.75 so it is within the range and again if still I would like to do the 400 spacing for studs I have the load is 2.1 so the closest is 10 kilonewton and the height is more than 3.75 3.7 so I have to take this guy so the intersection will be this and this so it will be 38 by 89 and again the material I'm using this with the same material you can use different material if you want to so let's go back and update the so here I have the maximum is 10 can I per and I using the DFL number one or two grade 
and is 38 by 89 millimeters and the height is 3.7 and it is interior okay so let's move to the next the next wall is will be uh, wall 4 so if you look at uh, the load is 32.135 and the height is 4.75 so these are the ones that I would like to keep in mind so the load is 32 2.135 and the height is 4.75 and it is interior uh, let's see let's go with the table see what we have for 432 so again this is interior and I still would like to use the 400 and for 32 I will be using 40 kilonewton per meter and the height is uh, within this range so this will means that it will go from here until here so here we have this size 38 by 140 so we're using here 40 and same material and 38 by 140 so that's how it goes and uh, the these sides let me just update this one. 